Vicky, I'm back at home. Oh, what a day. I had to go to the employment agency and apply for a couple of jobs there. Oh, it was such a day. So I'm just not going to show the names, but this I'm just going to read out from this sort of result thing. Um, Hmm. All right, so uh, where do I go to the important things? I might, this is a yeah. How many? What do they test? They test a lot, like the biochemistry. You know, you, all your salt levels, and the, your hematology. You know, your lymphocytes and all that. So. <laughs> okay, so yeah, thyroid, mm, glucose, uh, da, 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 da. all right, reproductive hormones. Here we go. Um, all right, the key thing here is estradiol. That is a I think an equated estrogen, but basically, you know, it's the hormones I'm taking, and the number I have right now is three hundred and seven. Um, which is, uh, he said it was tripled, so for some, since last test, like, I think last time I had something like 120 or something, so it's not exactly tripled, but, you know, it increased. Um, <clears throat> now, I'm not really sure how the female biology <laughs> works, um, so I should learn up on this, you know, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to laugh. Anyway, I'll just get on with this. <sighs> anyway, so the he sort of said that at the start of the menstrual cycle, the number is around 250. So mine is um, around 307. But he said like that number could, can go up to 1500. Um, and so the goal is to get my level to 1200, between 1200 and 1500. Uh, but, you know, that's a pretty good uh, level, you know, because um, uh, last time, you know, it was 120 something, and so it's gone up to three, 307, so that's good. Uh, and my vitamin D, uh, on the, you know, in the first test, it was my vitamin D was, uh, you know, about three months ago, it was 18, which is horrible. It has to be, the reference range is between 51 and 140, so my vitamin D was awful. And I kept on taking these tablets, then about six weeks ago it went up to 37, and now it's on 69, which is good. But he says we still have to go up to about 80, which is a good sort of thing. And now we go to the... Androgens, which is a male uh, hormones. So my testosterone at the moment is 0 0.9, <laughs> which is which is you know practically zero. Um, the levels for males is between 11.5 and 32 is the reference range. About three months ago, my testosterone was 15.6 so that was within the reference range about six weeks ago that went down to 6.6 .6. that was just with the estradiol I wasn't taking any androgen blockers but now it's gone down to 0 0.9 which is good because for women for genetic women the the they they also have testosterone as well and I think their levels is you know it's less than 1.7 or 1.3 so I am underneath that level that range so I am uh, in the range where uh, genetic women would have so the testosterone is you know pretty low <sighs> um, yeah I haven't masturbated in weeks and I don't feel the need to <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think that's good um, so, you know, the results were good, um, you know, my 
Uh, he said my kidneys and, and liver were good, and so it was it was good. And um, I got uh, prescribed an additional um, estrogen thing, which you take it through the skin. Um, you can see my flesh. So that's you know to help the estrogen increase. But eventually, well, actually, in my, my next appointment, I I I booked to have uh, skin patches like. Uh, you know patches under the skin. I don't know how he's gonna put it in and that is going to be much more effective in Distributing estrogen because when you take pills as I'm doing now it goes through the digestive system It's also hot on the livers and it's not that effective um, But so these skin transdermal patches or whatever it is that would should increase be more effective in increasing the estrogen dosage but I'll still be taking my, um, you know, testosterone blockers, you know, that, that one pill a day. Um, yeah, also, I also wanted to have my um, progesterone increased a little bit. I was taking 5 milligrams, now we're just going to try 10 milligrams because I wanted, you know, my breast development to proceed. <laughs> um, he did, you know, he said my breasts were developing well and, you know, around my nipples, the areola is sort of, you know, the, the dark spot, like, I, I don't think, I should have taken pictures, but I don't think before that around my nipples it was very dark and roundy, but now it's that, that areola air thing is growing a little bit, so, yeah, and it is very, very sore, and, you know, it's a good thing because it shows it's developing, so, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so, okay, uh, uh, yes, I feel a bit shy talking about that, <laughs> anyway, so, um, yes, yeah, so that's good, um, so my hormone results were good, and progressing well, and, yeah, so, I am happy with that. And um, yeah, uh, hopefully we can get this thing going, and uh, hopefully I can get that transdermal patch. Uh, you know, I wanted it. You know, um, yeah. yeah, because I want, I want to sort of, you know, we've, you know, we had a discussion, and you know, I think, I think, uh, you know, um, yeah, you know, you you progressively try out different levels to check if your body can handle it and my body it can handle it it's, it you know I'm still a bit young so it's not that uh, problematic at the moment so oh so that's good 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 all right now um, yeah I did get this thing over here this bronzer this is like 40 something dollars Sun bunny oh this is oh look at that that's a from the how the hell do you open this? From Mecca Cosmetics. Ooh, this so this a uh, two color. This is supposed to work with all kinds of um, shades. So let's go so I can try that bronzer. And I also got this stupid this lip balm with the, this this nice looking. A container here. It's a, it's a vanilla, a creamy vanilla lip balm. So, okay. So, yeah, three months on HRT and i um, happy with the results so far. And hopefully, um, it'll continue. And uh, yeah, so I say, yeah.